Hey everybody, it's Brugal Farmer here. I uh, just noticed I was missing a button on a pair of work pants. And these work pants, they're still in good shape for work. I mean, I like to pre present myself neat. They don't have any holes in them or anything, but I lost a button to keep them on on the front. So what I did, I went to the back pocket because uh, I don't carry anything in my back pocket. So I don't carry a wallet in my back pocket because driving, it can throw your back over and you can have long-term effects on that. And uh, so I just cut a button off the back and uh, I'm going to show y'all how to sew a button back on. Uh, I got these uh, pants from Goodwill, I believe, for it's three or five bucks. It wasn't over five. I'm, I'm positive about that. But anyway, I'll sew a button on and get more life out of them. And I'll show y'all how to sew a button on. Give me a minute to uh, load up the needle with some thread. And I will uh, attempt to do this. Uh, I'll have to set up the camera some way. And uh, just bear with me. Thank you. All right, folks. That took a little bit longer to thread that needle than what I thought. Um, I'm going to have to awkwardly hold this, but you can see where the other button was. I'm not going to worry about that thread being there. And you just kind of get a start on your button. Your button. Get your little start on it. Okay. Push it through here, that way I know I'm right. Sorry about trying to keep the camera. Folks, I'm doing this on my phone. And then I come back through and come up, hopefully without sticking myself. Go back down through again. Okay, the button's starting to be pretty firm in place. I'll save these pants. I'm just going in and out and try and catch all the holes. And um, pull it like that. And see, see this extra string I got? It's wrapped. I'm going to wrap that around there and not tangle up with my needle thread. I actually wanted more needle thread, but... I'll go back and touch that up. You do that. And then you just kind of go under with your loop. Run your needle through your loop. Go over your button. Do that a couple of times. And my nanny showed me how to sew buttons on. She was a seamstress. She could take and do something. They call it tacking or natting. What they did, they made um, pillow lace. And you had this little oval type thing. And she'd just sit there. And a lot of times she wouldn't even look at what she was doing. But she'd make beautiful lace for pillows and stuff. And, um pillowcases that was the most beautiful stuff but her and she was taught by somebody in her family and 
but she taught me how to sew on buttons. It's getting a little bit hard to push through right now. I want to make sure I don't jam my finger. Okay, I didn't come all the way through the button on this one. Came in between. Do a couple wraps with that. Then I want to tie off to my excess thread. Like so. If I can see this, my eyes are so bad. Can't hardly see it. I used to could thread the needle freehand, and now I have to have the little thing you put in there, and then it's even hard to do it with that these days. But you get the general idea here. And for I got this um, sewing kit from Dollar General for a buck, and so I, you know I've saved myself nineteen dollars for the cost of new pants. You know I don't buy real expensive breeches to work in. I just get them dirty, get stuff on them, and I have to throw them away. And all right, now we're ready to clip. This is a sewing kit I got. You got how many different uh, colored threads? You got a thimble. You got a little pair of scissors. You got four or five needles in there. Get a little sponge to stick your needles in and uh i always keep a sewing kit and uh even if i have a little rip on my jeans i'll sew them up to a certain extent but then there's a time you got to say goodbye so we're we'll just taking clip this excess thread i can use these little small scissors okay that's going to take two hands and uh, but you know, we'll clip that side and that side. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. There you go. Good as new. That'll hold. If I lose this button, I got another pocket on the back. I can uh, scarf another one from there and sew it on. But these pants start getting holes in them. I'll do away with them. Do something with the fabric. Make something. They're good to wear again another day. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless. Many of you expressed interest in the knife I was wearing on a previous video. Uh, I had to redo that video, but this is the knife. This is a skinning knife. It has a razor sharp edge on it. It's made out of deer antler, white tail. And I put on there my buffalo nickel, which is my maker's mark. And there's a little bit of sealant right there that I need to take care of, but I'll get to it. I put it to work and didn't have time to refine it. But anyway, if you'd like one of these knives for yourselves, along with the sheath, they're $139 plus $19.99 shipping and handling. I need to know the width of your hand to be able to cut the antler to make it where it'll fit your hand. If you have an antler and you want made into a knife, I can do that as well. I need at least eight inches of the antler from the skull out, and it needs to be as straight as possible. Some antlers are you can get straight, some aren't. This is a skull end, and from eight inches from there where you cut it off from the skull to there, and I can make you a knife out of that. We can either use the gut hook blade or we can use the uh, toothpick type blade. If you'll message me in the comment section below, we'll get you squared away on getting you a knife. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.